first things first, when it comes to a wall ride, I would say that this is definitely an intermediate level trick just because it involves kind of a lot of steps and things that you need to know how to do before you get here. You want to be able to bunny hop. You probably want to be able to go up a ramp in 180 and just be extremely comfortable on your bike because getting stuck on one of these walls is scary and you want to be comfortable enough to get out of it if you get put in that situation. So the cool thing about a bank to wall is that you really don't have to hop on it to learn how to do the wall ride on it. You can literally ride up the wedge, pull up your back tire, manual up it onto the wall, then do the exact same thing, pick your front tire up and go back into the ramp. And you can do that and work your way up to being able to hop onto the wall and then hop back into the ramp. So I'll show you a couple examples of that right now. Oh yeah, another thing about this trick is that it's so easy to learn. I'm showing you in flip flops. Okay, so as you saw in those first couple examples, all we had to do is lean back and pull up to do this. And in the last couple examples I showed you, I didn't even pick up the front tire, I just rolled it off of here. So it's technically not really as much of a wall ride as it is just continuing the motion. So to make it a wall ride, let's hop into it and hop out of it. It's literally exactly the same thing as just going up a wedge, hopping 180 and going back in, but you're doing it with enough speed to put you onto the wall. The cool thing here is with a bank to wall setup like this, you can literally land at the bottom and still be okay for the wall ride. This is the perfect setup to learn how to do this. The one thing that you definitely want to think about when you're doing this is that you want to try and lean your bike into the wall ride. You don't want to be straight up and down on this wall because yes, while it will work on a slant wall like this, as soon as you start moving to steeper walls or straight up and down walls, if you land straight up and down, you're just going to fall down it and it's not going to work whatsoever. So you definitely want to keep in mind that you want your bike to be perpendicular to the wall. So what I mean by that, and I'll show it on the screen, but also you want to be perpendicular. No matter how straight up and down the wall is, you want to be perpendicular or at least as close to it as possible. That will allow you to stay on the wall and be able to pop back in. The other thing you want to think about is when you hit this wall, you want to compress so that you can pull back in. You don't want to hit the wall with straight out legs and arms and keep them straight out and locked because then you can't pop to get back into wherever you're trying to go. You want to be loose on your bike and let yourself compress so you can pop back in easily. Okay, so there you have it. It's pretty simple to do a wall ride. You just kind of have to work your way up to it and get comfortable. The main things that you just want to think about is like I said, keeping the bike perpendicular to the wall that you're on, no matter how steep it is. And as you saw me do, I did an X up out. There are tons of tricks you can do into, out of, and with wall rides and within wall rides. So if this helped you learn to wall ride, let me know in the comments down below. If there's any other how to's you want to see, let me know. I'm sorry if it sucked. This was very random and unplanned and hopefully we'll see you next time in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow. Thanks for watching and see you then. Goodbye.